Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the third part of this drawing of cobweb, and I promise you it will be the last, but I found a better, faster, quicker way to do this, and it's using the polygon tool, which I started out with. So I'm going to draw a 10-sided polygon. I'm going to take the shape tool. I'm not going to take the top dead center one. I'm going to take the one to the left, and I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to go up to Windows, Dockers, Filet, Scallop, and Champer. And what it's done, it's giving me this message, one edge is too short for a filet. Well, that's what I wanted. I wanted this rounded corner with peak. Because if you didn't do this, and you only have a 0.5 inch, you get rounded corners all the way around. So you're forcing Corel to give you just inside rounding. Well, you need to bring this in with your shape tool. Bring this in and go two inches. And, and somebody's going to go, well, I can't hit apply. Well, you need to have it selected with your pick tool. So there we have rounded corners. We're going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. We'll zoom in here a little bit. We'll go to effects, contour. We're going to contour six times at a half inch. And I'm doing this real quick just to show you how much quicker it is. I'm going to put a straight line. I've got my two point line. I'm going to draw it up to the center. I'm going to make a duplicate control D. I'm going to move the rotation to the, to the node. I'm going to rotate it 36 degrees. And then I just kept hitting control D and it kept making duplicates. Break the whole thing. And now I draw everything in red hairline. So if you, if you started out with black, you wouldn't have to do this, break it apart and then select it all and go, we'll make it a little bit thicker and voila, there's your cobweb. And I, I bet you I could do this if I didn't have to talk. And I bet I could do it in under 30 seconds. Anyway, I hope that helped. And this is the last one. So thank you for watching.